Rev up your engines, folks. IM Motors is revving up to rock the scene with their spanking new IML6 model. And trust me, it's no ordinary ride. Picture this. The IML6 is geared up to set the electric vehicle, EV, world on fire with an unbelievable range of over 1,000 kilometers. Yep, you heard me right. And you're probably itching to know how they're pulling off this mind-blowing stunt, right? Well, hold on to your seats because it's all thanks to their fancy solid-state batteries. Now, you might be scratching your head, wondering how they've pulled off this miracle and what it means for the EV world. Let's dive into the excitement and unravel how this fresh Chinese EV has sent shockwaves through the entire auto industry. While American car makers and regulators seem to be tapping the brakes on their EV ambitions, China is stepping on the gas pedal with full force. Just in January 2024 alone, Chinese car manufacturers sold more electric vehicles than the next 19 countries combined. Talk about total domination. And they're not just leading the pack in sales. They're also pioneering some seriously cool innovations. Rumors swirling out of China suggest a game changer for EVs. Mass-produced solid-state batteries. Forget waiting years for this tech. China claims it's about to hit the market now. We can't be sure how true that is just yet. But there is one company making some pretty bold statements. IM Motors, a joint venture between some Chinese heavyweights, the state-owned SAIC group, e-commerce giant Alibaba, and property developer Zhengshang Hitech. They've taken to Weibo, think China's Twitter, to declare that their IML6 sedan will be the world's first mass-produced EV with a super-fast solid-state battery. This electric dream machine is set to launch in China this May, boasting a range of over 1,000 kilometers. That's a whopping 621 miles on a single charge. Now, keep in mind, this range is based on the Chinese CLTC standard, which can sometimes be a bit optimistic. But here's the kicker. This impressive range applies even to the all-wheel drive version of the L6. Usually, the long-range option is a less powerful single-motor setup. IM Motors COO Leo isn't stopping there. He's also touting the battery's crazy fast charging capabilities. Thanks to the 900 volt technology, in his own Weibo post, Leo declared, over 1,000 kilometers of range plus ultra fast charging will completely solve the mileage anxiety of pure electric vehicles. According to him, the battery boasts cutting edge patented technologies including nanoscale solid-state electrolytes. This translates to a significant leap in safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries, which are prone to thermal runaway, a dangerous situation where the battery overheats and can even catch fire. While the full-scale technical specifications remain under wraps, the focus on nanoscale solid-state electrolytes suggests a high level of innovation at play. But the L6's potential doesn't stop at safety. Chinese media reports hint at a massive 130 kWh battery capacity, offering an extended range that would alleviate range anxiety, a major concern for many potential EV buyers. Here's where the partnership with Chinga, a rising star in the solid-state battery space, becomes intriguing. This collaboration isn't just a piece of paper. It's translating into tangible action. Chinga has been aggressively building a solid-state battery production plan since spring 2022, demonstrating their commitment to scaling up this technology. Furthermore, they established a joint laboratory with SAIC, IM Motors' parent company, in July 2022, fostering a deeper level of collaboration on research and development. The finalization of the joint venture between SAIC and Chinga in August 2023 serves as a major milestone, solidifying their combined efforts in bringing solid-state batteries to the market. IM Motors isn't just pushing boundaries with battery technology. They're also making significant strides in autonomous driving. A recent video posted on Weibo showcases the L6's impressive capabilities. The car successfully navigated the challenging moose test, a maneuver simulating a sudden swerve to avoid an obstacle at a speed of 71 kilometers per h. And here's the kicker. There was no driver behind the wheel. 
This feat is a testament to IM Motors' advancements in self-driving technology, hinting at a future where autonomous vehicles can handle complex situations with precision and safety. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is a moose test? Well, it's a critical measure of vehicle safety. Assessing a vehicle's ability to avoid obstacles in emergency situations is an important benchmark for assessing the safety and agility of a vehicle. The fact that IML-6 aced this test speaks volumes about its capabilities. Automotive reviewers typically present moose test results after a new car model is released, but completing the test unmanned by an EV maker is a first. Just last month, GAO shattered expectations by showcasing their autonomous vehicle's impressive maneuvering skills without a driver behind the wheel. They released a video featuring the car performing intricate maneuvers, like unmanned autonomous driving and even autonomous drifting on a slippery, icy road. Talk about pushing boundaries. IM Motors isn't just talking the talk, they're walking the walk. In March, they announced the upcoming IML 6 electric sedan, which will boast the VMC, Vehicle Motion Control, Intelligent Digital Chassis. This system unlocks features like crab walk, further solidifying the idea that the digital chassis is more than just a futuristic concept. It's the future of electric vehicles and autonomous driving. We'll have to wait until April 8th for more details. But the fact that there is currently no MEAT listing for a variant of the IML-6 equipped with the battery may indicate production still has some time off. The global automotive industry is abuzz with activity as the race to commercialize solid-state batteries intensifies. Both established players and innovative startups are making significant strides, with advancements happening on multiple fronts. American companies are aggressively testing solid-state battery technology, laying the groundwork for future mass production. Meanwhile, Japanese and Korean giants like Toyota and SK Innovation are setting ambitious targets of 2027 and 2028, respectively, for bringing solid-state batteries to the market. Several noteworthy milestones have already been achieved. In November 2023, Solid Power delivered its Alpha model battery to BMW for certification, signifying a critical step in the validation process. Similarly, Factorial Energy delivered its Alpha model batteries to manufacturers for testing in October 2023, further accelerating the development timeline. While full solid-state batteries remain on the horizon, the focus in China is currently on semi-solid-state technology. This not only improves convenience for drivers, but also makes electric vehicles a more practical and attractive choice for a wider audience. Interestingly, the affordability of fast charging is also becoming a reality. Many new EVs with 800V fast charging capabilities fall within the price range of $30,000 to $45,000. Financial institutions are predicting a rapid rise in the penetration rate of fast charging technology in new energy vehicles due to this growing affordability and the user benefits it offers. Let's dive a little deeper into the technological advancements driving these changes. Solid state batteries address a fundamental limitation of traditional batteries, the liquid electrolyte. Replacing this with a solid electrolyte offers numerous benefits, including improved safety, faster charging times, and potentially higher energy density. Furthermore, advancements are being made in the cathode and anode materials used in these batteries. Cathodes are seeing the integration of high energy density materials like ultra-high nickel, while anodes are incorporating silicone for enhanced performance. Fast charging technology also benefits from improvements in anode material properties through techniques like modification and carbon coating. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.